what is going on panther nation pantherologist welcome to today's video okay guys so recently i obviously did a thousand giveaway obviously due to the fact that i got a thousand subscribers and now that i have that i have went back through the comments and i have picked the winner the number was 455 all i did was look up a random number between one and a thousand that's the number it landed on so the person that was the closest was William Newell. So if you're watching this, William, you are the thousands giveaway winner. Uh, please reach out to me on one of my platforms that you see in the description and we will go over the details there. Uh, there was another person that was closest, but by the time I picked the winner and went back to the comments, it was already too late. So sorry for that person who was actually uh, just as close. So, before we get into today's topic, though, pound the like button, pound the subscribe button, comment down below, let me know what you think, click that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the new raw content, and let's go ahead and get into today's video, my expectations from Chubba Hubbard. Now, let's take a look at what Panthers fan can expect from the young running back in 2021. Now, once Mike Davis decided to sign with the division, with the Atlanta Falcons, it left the Panthers with a rather thin running back room. Now, Trenton Cannon, Reggie Bonifon, and Rodney Smith all return, but to say any of those three are capable of being a number two back is a bit of a stretch. Now, Carolina took care of that hole in the draft by selecting Oklahoma State running back chuba hubbard in the fourth round of the 2021 nfl draft i just want to call him chuba hubbard i'm sorry guys i know it's chuba but anyways so <laughs> two years ago though hubbard was one of the best running backs in the nation and was receiving some recognition to be a heisman candidate uh heading into the 2020 season he ran for over 2,000 yards and, tw and had 21 touchdowns, and he averaged 6.4 yards per carry as a sophomore. Now, however, Hubbard de dealt with a couple of lingering injuries during the 2020 season. It was never fully able to get back to what he was the year prior. He went from being a, at worst, second-round draft pick to a day-three pick. If Hubbard can return to that form, return to form, um, the Panthers will have a huge steal by drafting him in the fourth round. So, what will Hubbard's role be in 2021? Um, most day three running backs come into the league, have to fight to see the field, and oftentimes have to work their way up the depth chart. So, as for Hubbard, I see him as being a running back two from day one. Given that he is healthy, of course, he has the ability to hit big runs, power his way to a first down and on short yardages and can catch the ball out of the backfield a, a little bit. But with that being said, he still has room for improvement in all three of those areas. He's not the most powerful back and has to develop some patience to allow holes to open up. So a lot of you are probably wondering why did they draft Hubbard? Some felt like the Panthers drafted Hubbard so that he could replace Christian McCaffrey since his name has been floating around in the tr in trade rumors this all season. But that's not the case. They drafted him slow solely based on the fact that the running back room needed a bit of a boost and to take some of the workload off of McCaffrey's back. Now, Hubbard is not coming in to replace McCaffrey by no means or even push for the starting job. As long as McCaffrey is healthy, I wouldn't expect Hubbard to see more than 70, 80 carries on the year. So offensive coordinator Joe Brady is going to have to be especially careful with how much he uses McCaffrey and who is coming off a season in which he missed 13 games to injury. With the NFL expanding the regular season to 17 games in 2021, it's going to be pivotal for someone like Chuba to set up and eat up some carries so that McCaffrey can remain 
fresh and late, especially late into the season. So if, if all goes right, the Panthers will have the best backfield duo since Jonathan Stewart and De- D'Angelo Williams. Now that wouldn't that be something? So Panther Nation, that's my expectations from Ch- Chuba Hubbard. Pound the like button, pound the subscribe button, comment down below. Click that post notifications bell so you don't miss out on any new raw, raw content. I know I keep repeating myself with that, but I can't repeat it anymore. The more support, the more I can keep putting out uh, raw content. Also, got some more creative ideas coming, guys. So keep on being on the lookout with that. And yeah, Panther Nation, Pantherologists, you know what to do. Keep pounding.